Hey Variety viewers, what's going on? Welcome to another uh, episode of Hot Wheels Hoarders. Sorry I kind of screwed those words up, but whatever, I got them out. Uh, once again, I got my beautiful, lovely daughter with me, Haley. She's going to show off some Hot Wheels with me, so without further ado, I think we're just going to go ahead and jump right into it. Uh, she's got a few that she's going to show off first, and then I'll... I say show off like I'm trying to show off but that's not what I'm trying to say but you get what I'm saying so I guess we'll just get right into it so Haley go ahead okay uh, I'll just do this one um this one is the Porsche Pana Panamera yeah These are actually super nice cars. It's like a Porsche station wagon. They're really nice. And then this one is the 770 uh, Play Plymouth. Plymouth AAR Cuda. It's funny because we just filmed a, a trailer park tour video, and there's actually one of these cars in the trailer park, like the exact same car, just a different color. And it's really, really sick. So yeah, there's the Plymouth AAR Cuda. And this one is the 50, 56 Ford F100. Nice old school F100. Beautiful. Then this one is the 71 Porsche 911. I'm not really a big fan of Porsches really, but... Yes, sir. All right. This is the Torpedoes. You bought me that. Yeah, I did. What a nice daughter. She bought me this for Father's Day. Such a sweetheart. And then this one is the Nissan, Nissan Skyline 2000 GTR. It's like a hatchback Skyline. Super nice. It's the Polace. This is a Lamborghini Countach police car. Super sick. I love the Lamborghini Countach. It's one of the older Lamborghinis, but they are mint. And I want one in real life, not just a Hot Wheel. All right, so thank you, Haley. Good job, as always. Such a good kid. Alright, so we'll get into the stuff that I have to show you. Not show off, but show you. So the first thing is, my mom found this and she thought it was super cool. And it actually is pretty cool. Unfortunately, it didn't have the Hot Wheels in it. Which, that would have been awesome if it did, but it doesn't. But it's the uh, Scholastic, the Collector's Handbook. Over 150 of your favorite cars. As you can see in that window there, there used to be a Hot Wheels, but I think my mom got it second hand, so obviously a kid took out the Hot Wheels, and I mean, I don't blame him, he's a kid and it's Hot Wheels, so, you know. But inside, I'll just uh, I'll just show you a couple pages here, but it, it like gives you some facts about the cars and whatnot, and it's actually pretty cool for someone like me that, you know, is always learning new things about Hot Wheels or, you know, because I love Hot Wheels so much and I like to learn new stuff about them as much as I can because I'm a true collector and I love Hot Wheels. So that's the, the collector's handbook. Now, a while back I showed you uh, some Hot Wheels that were uh, in a box, like a plastic container wrapped in cardboard and uh, they were a collection from the first tool from the factory. So like the first casting from that tooling. Well, I went to the flea market in Grand Bend and I found a package of two more that were off of the, they say multi-piece vehicle from first run tool. So they're from the first run from that tooling. So that, I mean, to me, that sounds pretty significant. So, like I love them and now actually this is my third package like this 
second or third I think third which the top is a little bit cracked which kind of bums me out so that kind of depreciates the value but anyways still the idea is there and I love it this one is the chip fooses 0032 and the George bearish Barris a la carte AMBR America's most beautiful roadsters um, Unfortunately, the person that sold it, they put the price tag right on the plastic case, which also bums me out. I wish people that sell Hot Wheels don't put price tags. Don't. Don't. If you need to, if, if you're going to price them, put a price tag on the table beside it or something. Like for collectors, that's a huge pet peeve because we have to peel those price tags off. And sometimes they're really sticky and they're really hard to get off. And so it leaves this sticky glue residue all over the collectible casing and packaging. Don't do that. Don't. I'm telling you as a collector that buys your Hot Wheels, don't do that. Please don't do that. It's a pet peeve. My buddy Nudes, he'll tell you the exact same thing. Even my mom. It bothers my mom because she knows like how serious I take collecting Hot Wheels and that it ruins the packaging it actually ruins the packaging so I'm sorry that this video kind of just turned into a little bit of a rant but don't do it okay please as a collector I'm telling you it's a pain in the butt and it's really hard and it leaves a mess on the packaging and the packaging is part of the value in the collection okay stop doing it stop it seriously Anyways, back to our regularly, regularly scheduled program. <laughs> I couldn't say that worth crap. So yeah, this is and this is a uh, the limited edition for the adult collectors. So for any anybody out there that thinks it's silly that a grown man is collecting hundreds, clo thousands of Hot Wheels, forget you because it says right here for the adult collector. So suck it. But anyways, I'm gonna I'm gonna show you them now. Look at those, man. Just beautiful. Beautiful. And I'll show you, to the best of my ability, the... See that sticker right there? Sorry about the glare. You can't read it, but it says... Uh, Multi-piece vehicle from First Run Tool right there. There's the cars. Boom. I love these things. These are probably one of my favorites to collect. And now that I know there's so much more out there, I want them, and I'm going to get them. Uh, all right up next I got a few things left to show you here so these ones again with the price tags all over the packaging and it drives me nuts but these are from the Hot Wheels classics collection and the first one here I have 1957 Chevy Bel Air convertible this thing is epic I love this car absolutely love this car blue that's blue right yes Turquoise. Yes, see I'm colorblind, so yeah, I had to ask my 11 year old daughter what color it is, but whatever, don't judge me. This is the 1957 Chevy Bel Air convertible, and it is just beautiful. Blue outside, blue uh, exterior and white interior, like this is just a, a, just a BA car, man, I love it. I love it very much. Hot Wheels Classics, boom, you gotta love that, you know. Love that car. Now, up next, um, whoa. so for all you guys that watch my Hot Wheels Hoarders videos, I've said it multiple times, you guys know that my favorite car of all time is the 1967 Camaro. SS preferably, but you know, I'll take if it's a 67 Camaro and I had the money and I could buy one, which is my dream car and a Lamborghini, but to get myself in not trouble and not trouble and no trouble at all it'd be safer for me to drive a 67 Camaro so with that being said I found a 1967 gold and black Camaro convertible this car Haley this car this car though I just <laughs> I'm in love with this car I just I can't get enough boom gold and black look at that man just a beauty, man. I love this car. Love it. I have probably close to 10, 67 Camaros now because I just, I love them so much. But yeah, see, see, look at this. 
Look at, look at, look at what you've done. Now I have to pull that off, and it's, it's gonna suck. It's gonna suck, okay? Hold me back, Haley. Hold me back. I'm telling you, I'm. I'm gonna punch you. Stop doing this. Next. 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 I just can't help it, Ellie. It makes me. It makes me so upset. I can't. Stop with the price tag. Please stop with the price tags. So I can calm down. And keep my Okay, they stop. They said they'll stop. Continue! <sighs> stop with the price tags. You're ruining everything. Right, the next car is including my life. <laughs> Up next, we have some treasure hunts. One, two, three, four of them to be exact. One I just acquired last night from my best friend, Nudes. Shout out to Nudes. Booyah. I'm in Nudes. Just, just putting that out there. They're your little Nudes. Silas is mini Nudes. Yeah, okay. I He's the newest it. Nudes. Yeah. Okay, Yeah. Good. One of these days, me and Nudes will do a video explaining Nudes. Actually, I think maybe Nudes did explain it in a video. Maybe it was our last Hot Wheels video that we filmed together. I don't remember! But up next here, I have a loose treasure hunt, like I said, that was given to me by Nudes, again. This is the... What is this? This is the treasure... The Cyber Speeder treasure hunt. Uh, it's a fantasy car. I'm not big on the fantasy cars, but it's a treasure hunt. So I, I, I don't care what it is. I have to have it because it's a treasure hunt! And I have it, so... And Nudes had no problem giving it to me, and, you know... I love nudes. He's my boy. He's my best friend, and and I do the same for him, and uh, he knows that. So, so yeah. Here's the cyber speeder treasure hunt with the white wheels. I really like it. It is pretty cool, actually, for being a fantasy. Now, you can see the treasure hunt symbol there, right on the front. For some reason, my camera on my phone isn't focusing, but it's there, right there in the middle. And this little bumper here, it, I don't know why, but diffuser, it pops down and pops back up. So yeah, the Cyber Speeder Treasure Hunt, ladies and gentlemen, right there. Thanks again, nudes. Up next, we have the Head Starter Treasure Hunt. Again, the Treasure Hunt symbol's right on the front, just like the Cyber Speeder. Don't, I'm not really a big fan of this car. Actually, I don't like it at all. It's hideous, it's ugly, it's stupid. But it's a treasure hunt, so I had to have it. Right there, you can see the treasure hunt symbol on the front. I don't know how clear you can see it, but it's there, I promise. It's a treasure hunt. So yeah, there's the head starter. Ugly car. It's just ugly. Looks like nothing. It's just ugly. Excuse me? I'm just kidding. Don't ever talk about my 2007 Chrysler 300 Touring like that ever again. Okay. Next! Kids. These last two absolutely sick cars. Love them. This treasure hunt is the 1980 El Camino. Yellow with black flames. And this car is wild. Wild. I love it. Look at that, man. I'd like to have one of those in real life, too. Chevrolet El Camino, 1980. This car is 38 years old. Well, like, if in real life, it would be 38 years old. Yeah. Very nice treasure hunt. Very nice. I love it. I like it. I like it. I love it. So I had to buy it. And last but not least, this is actually a car that uh, a lot of Hot Wheels collectors out there are actually faking. They're, I don't know how they're doing it, but they're faking them. They're just... And it sucks, you know, I wish people wouldn't do that, you know. Why can't you just enjoy the real things, man? Like, and if you can find a real one, enjoy it. Don't fake it and sell it to somebody because that's, that's, that's douchey. It's, it's not cool. It's not nice to do. It's, it's quite ignorant. 
don't don't fake it man don't do that don't fake it please don't but fortunately i found a real one this is the doesn't have a year it's just the old 442 treasure hunt blue it's got the real rider tires and uh it's actually got like a metallic blue color on it and this car is amazing absolutely amazing there it is look at that that is mint i love that car so yeah there's the old 442 i'm not sure of what year it is yeah it doesn't say at all oldsmobile 442 treasure hunt real riders boom well that's all the hot wheels me and this dweeb have to show you for this episode so like i said i just filmed a, a pinehurst trailer park tour video uh me and Haley just decided to do it for fun why not right um just, yeah just throwing that out there. and uh she did a good job she needs a little bit of practice she needs to not bring her phone and look at her phone when she's filming my youtube videos but we'll we'll get over that um but she did a good job and she's my daughter and i love her to pieces and uh thanks for watching this video we we really hope you enjoy it and uh Happy hunting for your Hot Wheels and keep hoarding them, baby, because Hot Wheels are great. I've loved them when I was, since I was a kid, and I'll probably love them till the day I die. And, uh, of course, if you like this video, go ahead and tickle that like button if, if, if you're into that kind of thing. I don't know. You know, do whatever you want. And uh, if you're not a variety viewer and you'd like to be, all you got to do is click the red subscribe button. It's pretty simple. Um... It helps the channel out, and of course, we appreciate it. I appreciate it. Haley appreciates it, you know. Other than that, oh, and uh, if you'd like to be notified when I do drop a video, go ahead and touch the notification bell, and you'll be one of the first ones to know when I drop the video. So, until next time, guys, thanks for joining us. Thanks for watching. Peace out.